The Italian city of Venice has a population of 270,000 plus 20 million tourists every year. It's almost impossible to see the sights for all the people. You have to get up early in the morning to take photos like these. Images of a city whose architecture has barely changed in 500 years. Such a collection of architecturally unique buildings is just a miracle, the likes of which doesn't exist anywhere else. The things you can see just going up and down the Grand Canal, that's the city's main street. And there's no other main street like it anywhere in the world, where you can see such extraordinary architecture. It's seven in the morning. German photographer Peter Knaup sets out on his morning safari. He still uses film and always black and white for Venice. This time, he's shooting Polaroids. Knaup had the idea for his Silent Venice project in 2001. He remembers the sleepy beauty of the city of the 1970s, and he's looking for whatever remains of it. I was in Venice with a friend who'd never been here before, and I wanted to show him the splendor of this city. First, I took him to the Piazza San Marco, and there he got a real shock because it was overflowing with people. After that, we got up early every morning. I wanted to show him that there was still a silent Venice. Knaup is chronicling the quieter side of Venice, capturing piazzas and palaces on film like artworks and sculptures. People would only be in the way, so he excludes them from his photos as often as he can. He's been coming to Venice for 10 years now. He sometimes waits months for a building to re-emerge from its scaffolding after renovation. Patience is key because even in the early hours there are always people on the streets. Campo Santo Stefano, for example, is close to a Vaporetto station by the Academia. Every three minutes a Vaporetto comes by from two directions on two different lines. And so people are constantly walking over the bridge and through the picture. There are just a few seconds when all at once no one's there. And that's when you can take the picture. Knopp is a commercial photographer. He had his own studio in Paris for many years. His photographs for fashion and lifestyle magazines have won many prizes. His interest in photographing architecture is a private one. The pictures of Venice, a gift to himself. Some of the photos are now historical, like this one of the Piazza San Marco. I took this photo 10 years ago, towards seven o'clock in the morning on an autumn day, and the square was just empty. I've never seen it that empty since. Nowadays, the tourists leave mountains of garbage on the square and cleaning crews haul them off the next morning. So you can't really see this square empty anymore at all. Peter Knaup has captured the city of his memories on film. Now he can enjoy the silent side of Venice whenever he pleases. And he's given the Venetians themselves a new perspective on their city. No one scrutinizes this book as intensively as the Venetians. They live through it page by page because they recognize everything and remember almost every detail. So as I see it, this is a book for Venetians. For the past 10 years, Knaup has returned to Venice time and again. And he's never grown tired of what he sees. <laughs>